Hello everybody, it's your Waddles, and welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, we'll be learning the easy way to make a decent, decently uh, good thumbnail. So it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be fun. So let's get started. First up, all the links uh, are gonna be in the description of this video, so you can kind of walk through it as as we're doing it if you want. Either way, first up, what you're gonna want is Nova Skin. Now, Nova Skin has lots of different. Uh, like a plugin or whatever you want to call them, different website areas. Um, one of which is just a basically a background uh, generator. So you just stick your skin in over top of these different models and uh, in the different poses. However, this one is the skin editor. The skin editor is a little bit more difficult. What you're gonna have to do is go over into pose, and then you get all these different levels change stuff. You could just do a random pose like this. Boom, there's our random pose just like that. And then you click photo, you can click it again by the way to change it. But we're gonna click photo. There we go. Right click, save as. And then we're just gonna save it right there. And we'll get to that later. All right, so this is Nova Skin Wallpaper Generator. Now what we're gonna do, scroll down until we find the pose. We're not looking for wallpapers, we're looking for poses. That pose right there, I, I'm liking that. Now the background is not original, obviously. There's probably hundreds of people that are using this background. We're gonna change things up. So we're gonna click on it. Comes up like this. Now this came with mine, uh, with my player skin already there because I've used it before. However, if you don't, you just search it in right here, click player, and it pulls up your skin. So what we're gonna do is click down here at uh, 1080p. There we go. It's loading. Then we're going to click PNG, like this, and then download. Alright, now you're going to right click on it, show in folder, is going to pull up in the downloads folder, right click, right over here, drag it, and move it here, so there we go. Alright, next up what you're going to need is this online photo editor. Now it's similar to Photoshop, but it's online and it's free. Now let me show you how to do this. First it's going to open up like this when you click the link. You're going to click open image from computer. You're going to find the image, double tap, there we go. So now we have the image. Now you're going to zoom in, either using the zoom over here, or using the uh, zoom in with your mouse scroll wheel. Then over here, you see this little red thing? You're going to grab it like that, move it to wherever you want. We're going to want it right about here, just like that. Right on here, this lasso. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to click this. OK, next up. What we're gonna do is come down like this. I know it still looks like a lasso. It's the polygonal tool. Don't worry about it. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna click. It does not have to be perfect, okay? We'll work on perfection later, but you see where the point is. It's right there. So what you're gonna do is go over like this and you're gonna outline as well as you can. Just like that. And then you're gonna come back, uh, and you can double click. Oops, let's let's redo that. Control Z. Okay, so you double tap, it connects. Then you click the delete button, just like that. Um, now why did it turn white? That's because our background is got this little. You see over here, uh, it's got this little lock. What we're gonna do is double tap it. Now it's a normal layer. Now let's click delete again. If you see those little. Uh, those little boxes like that little squares that means that it's a clear background okay now uh, what we're gonna want to do here is deselect just like that right click deselect all and then deselect all sometimes it doesn't work the first time sometimes you just gotta go like that there we are all right so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep doing that all the way around it'll take a while eventually you'll have it cut out just like that so there we go as you can see I basically just cut an entire outline all the way around him took it, it didn't take that long like five minutes I don't know it wasn't too bad now what we do is we almost do the exact same thing uh, being careful but what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna go all the way around like this let's see let's get all the way around just going in the area that we've already deleted so the wider you can get that deleted area the easier this part is Alright, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and right here you see invert selection, click that. Now the outside is selected instead. Now we're going to click delete. And there we go, we've got our character. Looks like a high end render, just like that. It's pretty awesome. 
Now what you can do is you can do cl click control. Oh, not control. Oh no, you just click here. And then you can move it. So we're going to move it right there, okay? And don't worry, the there's words on the boot there, but that won't matter. It'll be like this anyway. So what we're going to do is go like this. Then we're going to click the crop. And we're going to go just like that. And then we are going to... Alright, that's good. We're going to click here. Click yes. There we go. So now what we're going to do is save this to our computer by going file, save, and then we're going to save it as PNG transparent. Um, we're going to change the name to uh, render maybe. There we go. Render fast. I don't know. That's fine. And then we're going to click OK. Then we're going to save it here. There we go. Alright. So now we've got these two different renders. This one looks a tad bit better as you can see as, than this one and uh, this one would take this one didn't take very much uh, effort but it's kind of random you get random poses that don't really help you that much at all either way this one only takes like five minutes and then boom you've got this nice render just like that okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up minecraft and then what we're gonna do here is create a single player world we're gonna or some world or go on a world you've already had I'm gonna create a single player world make sure it's in creative uh, let's see pick there we go and uh, create a new world all right now that you're in Minecraft you're gonna fly around until you have found the spot that you want to take a picture don't forget to click F1 so that it does not show your hand or if you really want your hand there you could have it there uh, it's up to you and then once you find the pose that you want you click F2 and take a snapshot all right you can now exit out of Minecraft you're gonna click Windows and R at the same time it's gonna bring this up then you're gonna go into Minecraft um, and then you're gonna go over here into screenshots and then pull out that last one right here move here there we go now we got that screenshot now we're gonna go over to backgrounder panzoid so th that's the, gonna be the uh, other link in the description it's gonna be panzoid and what you're gonna want to do is right here you've got a bunch of different options click thumbnail because that's what we are creating then you go over to layer one and we're gonna upload an image we're going to upload click select we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna grab that nice scenery picture that we just took that one right there there we go so there is our background then we're gonna go over here into text and images first we're gonna add an image that is going to be the render um, we're gonna you go ahead and use the render fast the other render works just the same way so here we go render is in now we're gonna stick it in a position like this you don't want it to be right in the middle of the screen we're not making a profile picture here stick it right like that it's probably fine you could even make it larger if you want let's go over here we don't want it too large let's go 0.2 point 0.2 point there we go all right next up what we're gonna do is this was an easy easy thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another picture just like this select then I'm going to go down here and grab this easy button just like that now when I go to grab this easy button it moved my character why is that because as you can see right here they're layers what you do is you grab the layer and move it to the top like that okay so now this layer is on the top we're gonna move it right about there I'm thinking now this easy button is pretty large you could get a different size easy button I kinda want it to be large just like that I'm gonna stick it in the corner mm -hmm, just like that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some text so what we're gonna do is click this little text button right there move it to the top of our layers so that we don't move anything else now we're gonna scroll through this until we find the text that we want alright let's see let's see I'm thinking that we want you definitely whatever the title is whatever the main title is you want that to be pretty bold so let's look for something that's kind of bold I'm gonna go with this oh it didn't work oh by the way sometimes it glitches you gotta click off and click back on it's like it it's basically isn't doing what it needs to do alright now let's go back in there and find that again um where did it go where did it go don't know, but this one here, I think this, nope, nope, nope. Okay guys, after trial and error, I've decided to use this font. It takes a while to figure out what the perfect font is. Um, what we're going to do is go down like this, 
click here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go with like, uh, we don't want to do blue because blue is the background. Now, green is a good backdrop to blue, but then green is the same color as mine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with like uh, that color right about there. It's totally different than anything else here. Then what's really important is to give it a border. Never let your text not have a border. That's very important. Give it a thick border. And then make the font size larger so that they can read it. I mean, come on, this thing is tiny. You want to be able to read it. Boom. Up. Let's go a little smaller. You don't want to go too big. Just like that. Thumbnails. Then let's make the uh, border a little larger again. So there we go. Now they're going to be able to read it. Now let's turn on uh, Shadow. Add the blur. You're going to want to blur it out a lot because you can't see it. There we go. Just like that. Your character, you might want to stick out of the screen a little bit. Same with this. You're going to want to add a background to character. In the end, it's, a little, it's still a little... Uh, yeah, we haven't completely figured it out yet. Um, also, we're going to probably want to add the other text um, in a different font. So let's go ahead and add another text right here. It adds it down here. We're going to drag it up to the top. Just like that. Make sure you're clicking on it. Then we're going to put in the text and then click your font just like that. We're probably going to want to go yellow. Yellow is the only color, color that is completely different. You normally don't want too many colors in your thumbnail so we might go ahead and keep it the same color. Now if you're wondering how do I get the exact same color click over on this one again and when you click here like that see this little number here that is actually the color number so copy that and click back over on here open up and then you're gonna paste it right in there like that okay now we got the same color now again let's add the uh, the border and the shadows there we go just like that now obviously this font is a little bit different, and yeah, maybe that color isn't what's suiting you. Let's go ahead and change that color a bit. Like that. Let's make the font size larger. Like that. Okay, so now we're actually starting to get somewhere a little bit. Let's go ahead and add image shadow on this. Just gives it a little something. Yeah. There we go, just like that. Why don't we see if we can put the border on? Oh yeah, okay, so that's not gonna work. See the square? That means that the uh, border is actually outside like that. So there we go, easy, just like that. So, obviously, it still doesn't look quite right. Why is this you're asking, or why is this I'm telling you, actually? It's because they need a backdrop, something to make it less so, uh, like not look so much, you know? needs to look a little bit better now how we're gonna do this is we're gonna wanna go back over here to the Photoshop editor create new image now this is the part I totally forgot about sorry about this but let me show you this you don't always need this okay but sometimes you just need it alright so this is how we're gonna do it first we're gonna set this to um, 1080p if you can find that should be down here there it is uh, we're gonna make sure the background is transparent and okay now what we're going to want to do is grab this little tool right here, stretch it out a bit like this, and then we're going to just go like that. There we go. And then we're going to fill this with some color that matches what we're wanting. I'm just going to go with plain white this time. So let's go over to uh, the colors, just right here. We're just going to go with white, okay? And then we're going to just fill it like this. There we go. So now we've just basically got a blank white thing. Now we're going to save that real quick. As a PNG. Okay, now we're back over here. We're going to add another uh, image, actually. So let's click down there, add the image. Let's look for it. Let's find it. It's somewhere here. It's going to look a little strange. There it is. Okay, so here we got this back. Obviously, it's not, I mean, you could go with that there if you wanted, although we're going to change it a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it like this. Oops, that's clicking on the C. See, it's clicking on the character. There it is, though. So that's number five. Let's drag number five to the top temporarily. Let's get the position we want. Now, first of all, it's just barely sticking out the side. So we're going to go ahead, 
oopsie see it thinks it's on that let's click off click back on let's uh, stretch it a bit there we go now it's stretched now right here we've got rotate now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate it that way stretch it that way rotate it stretch there we go now we got this just like this Oh, our character is not uh, stretched the right direction we'll fix that in a minute but okay so now this is stretched like that let's go ahead and drag that back down to the bottom all right now we're back on this character now we're gonna set it scale to 0.2 just like that and there you go guys that is the simple way to make a quick thumbnail you probably want to make the text oh, a little larger than this I can't it's hard to tell with text because it's so small um, and you want definitely want people to be able to read it when it's larger so that is a very important thing to to definitely work with so work with it until you've got it right but there you go that is the basics to it you guys can get more creative figure out better ways to do it but there you go so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did click that like button uh, tell other people about my channel subscribe and I will see you guys in another video